I wrote this on your page, but I wasn't sure if you would see it or not. So, sending it to you here. Hopefully, I have addressed this properly. People need to be aware that these things are real, and they are in the woods, and they are not natural. I don't know if they are government experiments, aliens. Some say demons, but I don't know. But this thing looked like an insect. I'm going to add a little here that I didn't add on your page, but I think it might be important. However, this may even make people even less inclined to believe me, so edit this as you see fit. Please include this letter with the story, but not my name or gender at the end. Thank you. I'm going to have to agree at this point about unknown entities in the woods. I saw something in the woods that I cannot explain. It looked and moved like a six-foot praying mantis, and made this clicking screech as it followed me through the woods. No one believes me. My dogs were barking, snarling, whining, obviously terrified. I'm going to sell my property. I'm not going back into the woods. It was daytime. If it had been at night and my dogs hadn't been with me, I would probably be dead. I don't care who believes me or not. I'm 50, have cancer, and other people's opinions don't matter much to me anymore. Call it a demon if you wish. Call it an alien, a giant bug. All I know is that it was big, fast, loud, and it was not afraid of me. It was definitely stalking me. My chest hurts just writing this down. I didn't see it or hear it after I got in my truck. I just sat there paralyzed. I couldn't move. I see it almost every night in my dreams. I always go back looking for it, like it's calling me to it, beckoning me closer. Sometimes I stumble on it, and it's consuming a fresh-killed deer or a hunter. Sometimes it is waiting for me, and lashes out with its stiletto-laden arms, piercing my body before I even have a chance to defend myself before I even have a chance to scream. And each time I see it, how do I know what it is? It looks exactly like a praying mantis. There's just something different about its eyes, like they see into my soul, like no insect ever could. It knows you fear it. I think it knows how to follow me into my dreams. I'm wondering now if it can track me here, to my home in the city, through my dreams. I barely sleep anymore at night. And every time the dogs bark at night, I jump, adrenaline racing through my heart. I need to add this, even though it may cause some doubt to my story even more. I have owned this property in the Ozarks since the early 1990s. From time to time, I have allowed close friends and family members to hunt whitetail on the land. They have all been taken into confidence that a small family of Sasquatch lives on the 20 acres and gifts must be left each time the land is hunted. Something simple like a fruit basket and chocolate. They love apples, and chocolate is the best. They always take the entire basket. Sometimes they will leave a bundle of sticks or nuts where the basket was. They never bother us, and we never bother them. That stopped in August or September of 2018. The basket was left untouched. I rarely ever heard them call out. Maybe three to four times in all those years, but after 2018, the woods became more and more silent. The deer hunts were rarely successful, and the elk that were ever seen in the areas were never seen on my land. Something was wrong. No wild boar tearing up the property either. Now, I can understand why. I'm sure you've gotten your fair share of crazy stories. In fact, I'm sure you probably get a lot of stories that kind of come off as crazy. And I hope that mine can be taken seriously, because I can't refute what has been happening to me. My name is Daniel, and I love exploring the woods and venturing around, especially here in the swamps of northern Florida. And I know this might seem crazy, but I feel like lately, when I've been going out, I feel like I've been stalked by something, if that even makes any sense. I don't have a thorough background in hunting or doing anything extravagant in the outdoors, but I just love being outside of nature, at least up until recently, 
until I saw whatever it is I would call what I saw. I know a lot of people would even call Bigfoot far-fetched, but what I saw just isn't even in the realm of reality close to that. What I saw was some sort of giant looking like insect thing. Maybe it was an alien. I don't know. The swamps are already a pretty desolate and creepy place. It's the bogs where you'd expect to find monsters and any other sort of dangerous animals. But I never would have expected to see what I saw that one night. I've been venturing off in the swamps for years now. Ever since I've really learned that I really enjoy it. There's just something about the hot mugginess of it all that I guess I just kind of am addicted to. And being up here in northern Florida, you encounter all sorts of stuff, like huge insects, snakes, and even alligators. But it's pretty easy to keep your distance from those things, even more considering you can generally see those things off in the distance. And rarely do I ever feel like I've gotten ambushed or gotten too close to where I would be potentially ambushed. But ever since quarantine has happened, I've been letting myself kind of get lost in the swamps, to not just escape, but escape reality, escape the world that we live in, to find myself in a place of so much beauty. And like I said before, I've never seen or ran into a Bigfoot ever, and I don't know if I believe in them, but what I ran into was something far more scarier in my opinion. It all started when I began hearing this weird clicking noise. Sometimes it would appear as if it was directly behind me, then other times, it would sound like it was all around me, top to bottom, 360 degrees, like some sort of swarm of insects that I couldn't swat away. It was very bizarre. The noise would just kind of come and go, and sometimes would change in volume, and even pitch. Over time, it began to make me more and more uncomfortable. I soon realized I wasn't just hallucinating or having some sort of vision. I was experiencing a noise that was surrounding me that I couldn't identify. I couldn't pinpoint it to any specific animal until just a ways from me, directly in front of me. I saw these yellow eyes is what I would call them. They were large. They didn't look like they were coming from an animal. The eyes were very close together, large, bulbous looking, and they kind of emanated a bright yellow glow and that's when I was able to see the silhouette of what they were attached to. The head looked very much like a large insect head. Look, I know this sounds crazy, and I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but I'm telling you, this is what I saw. This head was maybe 30 to 40 feet away from me, and it looked larger than I was. My first instinct was I was either hallucinating, or this was somebody in an elaborate insect costume or something. But as I looked at it, and as it looked into me, the clicking sound grew louder and louder, and I felt imminent danger, like if I stayed there any longer, I was going to die. Whatever this was, it was standing in the bog and the brush, and I couldn't see its body, but I could definitely see its head, and make out that it was something I'd never seen before, something I never even heard anybody talk about. Was this a Bigfoot? I don't think so. Last I checked, Bigfoots don't resemble an insect in any way, or at least so I think. After feeling like if I stuck around any longer, I would perish, I fled in fear, and I eventually made it back home. But the problem was I couldn't tell anybody what had happened. Even to those I knew who had had experiences out in the swamps and the woods with their own personal Bigfoot encounters, they would never believe anything like I just explained to you. This was something far different and I don't even know what kind of animal you would classify it as. Whatever it is had large glowing yellow eyes and looked very insect-like and was larger than me. Pretty sure that most would classify that as an alien or something. I don't know. This is all new to me because I never even believed in that stuff to begin with. And then I encountered this. For the record, this just happened a few weeks ago. I figured the best way to process what I had seen and what I encountered would be to sit down and write it out. Although, I'll admit, I struggled for a long time on who do I even give it to? Who's going to read this and think I'm not crazy? So I'm kind of just doing this out of desperation, and I'm sending it to you and a few others in hopes that you won't call me crazy, and that maybe you can give me some information on what it is that I encountered exactly or what I saw. 
let me just say that I've been out in the swamps many times before, and I have never had this sort of experience, if you want to call it that. Look, I get that there are animals that we haven't yet discovered, and that whole unknown species thing going on that a lot of biologists like to throw around, but this just felt too ominous. I don't feel like this was an undiscovered animal. I felt like, I don't know, I'm sorry I'm tripping over my words here, even writing this down. I'm shaking, just reliving this event. Just thinking about it and bringing me back to those moments, it's still really hard for me to relive. Because, like I said earlier, it's so out of the realm of my reality, or most people's reality, I would say. Again, I have never heard of anything like this, nor have I ever heard anybody that I know of who's any sort of experienced outdoorsman or hunter talk anything about this. I don't expect you to have any answers or to really give me any closure to what I saw, but any information you could possibly give me would be much appreciated 